<laughs> oh no, pull that again. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if this one is a tailor actually, pulling a little bit harder. So you saw I pulled out of that other fish. Doesn't matter, keep going. Put another lure on there and, and uh, I hooked another fish. And I did see a small kingfish follow me up there before. No, I don't know whether this is a tailor or fighting a little bit different. May well be a, yeah, that's a kingfish. That's not a tailor. So, so awesome. So different species, and hey, that could be one of the species that we're going to list on that website and SMS out on that Saturday the 18th. So that's a great noise. You got to love that if you're a fisherman. Having fun, and this is the sort of conditions. It'd be great to have my kids out here today. They're off at school, so poor old dad's got the day off, but. It's what it's all about, having a bit of fun. Yeah, and that's what we want to hear, that noise. And I'm pretty sure it's a kingfish. We'll have to wait and see. Well, kingfish are, <laughs> he's still going. Kingfish are fantastic sport on any tackle. And uh, certainly on this light tackle, it doesn't get a lot better than this. I'll just go around the other side there again. So we're just about, we're getting close. It's important to get this fish in the net. Just remember your legal lengths. Now, I don't think, in certainly New South Wales, I don't think this fish is a legal size. So 60 centimetres is legal for kingfish in New South Wales. Uh, check with, your, obviously, your state regulations, and you've got to make sure that any fish that you submit, it's got to be the minimum legal length. So I'm not too sure, but I'd say it's only in the 50s, but it'll be good exercise to measure it and, uh, and show you just exactly what you've got to do with that photograph anyway. There he is. Don't rush it. A lot of good fish are lost at the net. So we just lift him up there. Oh, and there's a prime example, not quite ready. Just lift that fish up there again. Here he comes, just about right. And we'll just sneak him in the net like so. And into the boat. And that's a, that's a really nice fish. Not a big fish, but a great fish on this light tackle, which I'd normally use to catch a few flathead or maybe a, a slightly bigger bass. So got the fish in, got to be quick now. Let's get the measuring done. Now, pretty simple to measure the fish. This is a, a Lowrance measuring device, but you'll have your Pertec brag mat that you get with your registration, your Pertec hat and your brag mat. Lay your brag mat out, nice and flat. Grab your fish. You can do it in the sand or on a wharf or no matter, doesn't matter where you are. We're in the boat at this point. Line that nose up. This fish is actually 60, uh, right on 64 centimetres. Grab our camera, turn it on. If you've got a friend there, it doesn't hurt if you put a finger if that fish is trying to jump around. Nice and quick, you want to look after the fish. So get the fish totally in focus. Use your flash if you need to. Get that fish nice and focused, bang. Have a look, back of the camera there. Zoom in, make sure it's nice and clear on that line. But you've got, we need a photo of the fish from the start of the brag mat and then its tail right onto that measuring line. Simple as that. Grab your fish, back in the water, let it go. Job done, try and catch a bigger one. And one thing it's important to remember with digital photography, we all know that you can manipulate photographs and Photoshop and do all these things. We've got a pretty good panel of guys who, who understand how all that works. They can look into the photographs and see that's happened. Look, it's about raising money for prostate cancer. Sure, there's some cash to be won, but, but really don't manipulate your photographs. Don't Photoshop your photographs. Just take that one photo, send it in. It's a fair competition for everybody then, and let's, uh, let's get on, have a good time, hopefully win some cash for yourself, raise some money for prostate cancer and all the other great prizes that go with it. One other thing to remember, it's your responsibility to upload that photograph of the fish in a clear, a clear photograph, starting at the start point on your brag mat with your fish's tail right on that mark. And it's your responsibility to get that in Monday the 20th by 7 a.m. So you've got 6 p.m. on the Sunday when the competition finishes, right through to like 7 o'clock on that Monday morning. And uh, when you register, obviously you'll read all the rules and regulations that go with it. It's nothing too drastic, pretty simple. Catch a fish, photograph it, let it go, win some prizes. <music>